I'm gonna take this notebook into a five-star celebrity restaurant and act like a food critic to see if they treat me any differently. They sat me down immediately and had water waiting for me. Right away, I took out the notebook for the waiter to see and started my critiquing process. Bruh. I think it was working because I was getting pointed out by their staff. I then placed my order. May I please do the chicken milanese? And they brought out the food so fast. It has to be because of the notebook. I have never tasted anything this delicious before in my entire life. Does it always taste like this? Or is it because I have the notebook? I think I see the manager talking to the chef. I started taking detailed notes and was about to ask for the check until the manager walked up to me and said this. We have a surprise for you. You have a surprise for me? Our famous lobster golden pizza. I couldn't believe my eyes. And then they sent out every single dessert on the menu. After this incredible meal, the waiter dropped off the check and it was completely free. I can't believe they didn't notice. My dad and I have been coming to this restaurant for as long as I can remember. And honestly, this place almost feels like home. But it's missing something. And that's when it hit us. All homes have family photos on the wall. But this one doesn't. So my dad and I paid a professional photographer $10,000 to take a beautiful photo of us. We then rushed to a photo printing lab and got the photo put on a beautiful canvas. We then went back to our usual spot, snuck in the photo, and did what we had to do. This place now really does feel like home. This is the best day of the year. Customers can visit their favorite 7-Eleven and come with their own cup to receive any Slurpee for just $1.99. Slurpees are my favorite thing in the entire world. Bruh. So I knew what I had to do. Buy the biggest cup I could possibly find and go to 7-Eleven to get my lifetime supply of Slurpees. As soon as we got into the store, the employee came up to us and said, No question, is it gonna leak on my floor? No, no, it's not gonna leak, I promise. It was time to get filled. Bruh. This was so crazy that even the 7-Eleven employees were taking pictures of us. Filling the bathtub was taking a while, but luckily some random people decided to help us. And after filling it up for literally over an hour, it was time to pay. How much is it? 218. 218. Perfect. So I carried the tub, loaded it into the truck, and brought it home for all my friends to enjoy. My girlfriend Hannah has been acting really suspicious recently, and I think she might be cheating on me. So I am going to use this air tag to track her. As the day went on, I paid attention to her location and then realized she was at another guy's house. I'm gonna have a word with this guy. Turns out, it was her grandpa's house. <laughs> Oops. Bruh. But as I kept looking at where she was going, I still had a feeling that I couldn't trust her. As the day went on, her location changed to five guys? There is no way I am letting my girlfriend hang out with multiple boys. Once I got to the location, I realized it was just the restaurant. Bruh. But I still had a weird feeling. And that's when I saw she was headed to the park. So I had to see what was going on. And I saw her writing a letter. It had to be to her secret lover. And as she was leaving, Leaving, she dropped the letter and didn't even notice. It was finally time to catch her. The letter read, Dear Topper, I'm so sorry, but I have terrible news to confess. If everyone watching likes and subscribes, I'll tell you the truth. How many wood boards can me and my dad kick through? <laughs> One down. Yeah, like it's nothing. Two boards. Yeah. Now we got three boards. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Six boards! Oh! oh. Yeah. Ten boards! Yep! 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 Twenty boards! Subscribe if you think my dad's gonna win and like the video if you think I'm gonna win. Subscribe! Thirty boards! It's thirty. Bruh. There's no way. This is called a miracle berry. And when consumed, it temporarily changes your taste buds so that sour tastes sweet. So today we're trying it out with the least what? sour to the most sour foods in the world. After taking this miracle berry, these candies should turn out sweet. Up first, we have the green apple. No way! This tastes like straight sugar! Food number two, the lime. This tastes so sweet, it's still working! Food number three, extreme sour warheads. I got this. It literally tastes like candy! Bruh. And now for our last food item. The most sour of them all. Toxic waste. Ah! 
Is it possible to draw a dotted circle? I doubt it, but I'm not gonna stop until my dotted circle looks like this. My first attempt looked like this. An eggplant, bro. Just like it's impossible to draw a dotted circle, it's impossible to like and subscribe at the same time. After trying every way I could think of to draw a perfect dotted circle, and I mean literally every way, it still wasn't looking good. So I did my research and saw it's all in the pressure. I had to apply the perfect amount of pressure and rotate my arm like a clock. This was actually so close. Before I mastered my dotted circle, I had to challenge my friends. So I showed them the technique, and we got to work. Brandon tried. <laughs> Tori tried. <laughs> Joe tried. Shutters was so close. <laughs> but finally, I won. <laughs> This was a dumb idea. Today, my goal is simple. To break the law and get arrested. Why? Because the other day, I saw the most beautiful girl to walk this earth, and she was a police officer. Yeah. Obviously, I asked for her number. <laughs> it's 911. But there's no way I was gonna give up just yet. And that's when I realized, the only way she was gonna give me the time of day was if I got arrested. I waited for her to check me out, and Jay walked over to her. I just jaywalked. Time to arrest me. Honey, I don't arrest for jaywalking, but uh, here's a ticket. It was time to step up my game even more. It's illegal to park within 10 feet of a fire hydrant. So I made my next move. No, looks like you still have space. Are you serious? I have to figure this out. So as I was drinking water, I purposely littered. Yes, yes, it's totally working. I'm gonna need some backup. Backup? Hey, 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 what are you doing? No, no, I picked it up. And that is why. How many wood boards can me and my dad get through? <laughs> Bruh. That's one. Yeah, two Two boards! Yeah. Four boards! Yeah. Yeah. Seven boards! Oh, yo, this is getting harder! Oh! I did that better than you! Bruh. Ten boards! Twelve boards! Alright! Have you ever wondered what would happen if you walked up to a millionaire's mansion and asked them to swim in their pool? I'm asking millionaires if I can swim in their pool. I'm not a millionaire, I'm a billionaire. This house won't work. Bruh. After countless attempts... Can I swim in your pool? No. No. Heck no. I was starting to question if the word yes still existed. Can I please swim in your pool? No. Even at the drive through No. To make things even worse, it started pouring rain. I almost gave up Bruh. until this house. Excuse me. Wait, Jack! Can I swim in your pool? I guess. This is Jack, a 19-year-old who lives in a $10 million mansion in the Hollywood Hills. He even has a purple Lamborghini in his garage. After touring the house, I finally got to get into a millionaire's pool, and my mission was complete. There's no way this is true. Why does every toothpaste commercial say Number one brand recommended by dentists. There's a million dentist recommended toothpaste. How can we trust them? Today my goal is simple. To walk into every single dentist office I can find and find out which is truly the most dentist recommended toothpaste. Sensodyne. Okay. This was going pretty well so far. I went dentist to dentist to dentist and received different responses. What toothpaste do I get? After hours of traveling, I ran out of dentists in Los Angeles. Angeles. So, of course, I took to the streets to get some more data. I asked people in the toothpaste sections of stores. Hi, what type of toothpaste do you recommend? I use Sensodyne. And even found a guy whose brother was a dentist. Colgate? Yeah. Perfect, thank you so much. And finally got the answer that Crest was the most dentist recommended. Today, I got amazing news. Chipotle is now giving golden burritos from their secret menu if you have a Chipotle burrito tattoo. And this got me thinking. I've been able to fake my way into getting a free Subway for Life card and a $10,000 golden burger. So this should be a piece of cake. The plan was simple. I reached out to a professional body paint artist, explained to her exactly what I wanted, and paid her $10,000 for this realistic burrito tattoo. Then I found the nearest Chipotle, and it was time for the test. I waited nervously in line until it was my turn and asked, I heard that if I have a Chipotle burrito tattoo like this one right here, I get a golden burrito. Is that true? I was terrified while I was waiting. She was bringing out the manager to see if this was true. They then went to the back and came out with a special golden bag. And no way. It's a golden burrito. My friend Holy keeps stealing all my prime, but every time I ask him about it, he says this. Hey! 
That's my crime! What are you doing? Nothing, bro. What are you talking about? That's mine! I need to catch him red-handed because there's no way he's telling the truth. The plan? To booby-trap my prime stash and hire my friend to pie holy next time he attempts to steal my sacred drink. But when I went to drink some prime after my workout, my friend thought I was holy and accidentally pied me in the face. I am bro! so sorry. Wrong person! Bro. Time for phase two. The instructions were simple. To sit and record. Nothing could go wrong. Until I watched the footage myself and saw this I now know that I cannot trust anyone what happened to my prime time for phase three to sit there myself only one problem I fell asleep after sitting there for hours and holy ended up taking all my prime so when I woke up all of it was gone no no my prime Mr. Beast scammed me. Yesterday, I ordered a Mr. Beast burger like I do every day. But this time, I noticed something was off. There was only one pickle on my burger. There is no way this could be right. The menu clearly says pickles with an S, meaning more than one pickle. Mr. Beast was running a scam. Bruh. Jimmy is better than that. It had to have been a mistake. So I ordered another burger and I couldn't believe my eyes. One pickle again. Since this is clearly a scam, I was left with one option to sue Mr. Beast. Bruh. So I began writing a formal letter to Jimmy. I then flew the letter over to Jimmy and awaited my reply. Weeks were passing and I hadn't received anything yet. I decided it was time to confront Mr. Beast face to face. So I FaceTimed him and all he did was tell me it was a simple prank. I'm gonna take this notebook into a fancy restaurant and act like a food critic to see if they treat me any differently. I made a reservation at a five-star restaurant and kept a low profile for the first few minutes. They weren't paying much attention to me, so I brought out my secret weapon, the notebook. The waiters are talking about me right now. Since I took it out, they have not stopped checking on me. Okay, thank you. The main dish that came out was their famous steak, and it was... Amazing. So of course I had to take my detailed notes. Once I asked for the check, the head chef and the manager came out with tons of complimentary desserts. Is this stuff even on the menu? This is special made for you? After I had all of these amazing custom desserts, I opened the check and couldn't believe my eyes. The entire meal was free. Don't talk into the mic and I'll buy you whatever you want. Wait, Jack Doherty? Oh gosh, okay, um, how old are you? Uh, I like your shirt, man. All right, okay, fine, you won. I know I won. This is literally my idea. You're copying me. Bruh. Okay, well, bro, you're just gonna buy me whatever I want. This was not looking good. Jack was walking towards all the most expensive stores. Uh, I think I need something more expensive. How do you even get more expensive than this? Trust me, I know it's fine. Oh, no. Until he brought me here. This place is gonna be too expensive. Bro, you, you owe me a lot. Bro, I have not made that much money off of doing the same videos as you to come here. Bruh. I have never been more scared in my entire life. Um, this one is... Perfect. 100k on my wrist right now. Let's get them both. You get one, Jack. All right, I'll pick the $62,000 one. Okay, whatever you want. I can't believe I actually just did that. Dude, this is so far. You can copy my videos anytime now. Bro. This is an oxygen bottle, which I bought for $20. I thought oxygen was free. Whatever. Bro. Today, we're going to find out if it's actually useful by doing as many push-ups as I possibly can in 60 seconds. I began by starting the timer and doing as many push-ups as possible without any extra oxygen supply and God. <sighs> 32. Push-ups done. Now it's time to see if this thing actually works. Oxygen time. I started my timer and used the oxygen as needed. Would this improve my performance? Oh, gotta keep going. I was exhausted, but able to keep going. My 60 seconds were up, and I got... Woo! 84. Is Starbucks a scam? My grandma and I love Frappuccinos, but they're super expensive. So today, I'm gonna make a $1 Frappuccino to see if it's better than the average one at Starbucks. Let's get frappin'. So first, I got the freshest milk I could find. Then I added chocolate syrup, some espresso, ice, and then some chocolate chips. And you can't forget, one pound sugar! Perfect! It's time to put it to the test. I took my grandma to Starbucks and told her we were going to try their new Frappuccino. But in reality, I disguised my drink to look exactly like a Starbucks Frappuccino. It's time to see which one is better. Which one's better? Thanks. Today, I'm going to find out if a candle really does burn for 40 hours. This one started off easy. I mean, after all, I just had to light the candle and wait. Little did I know, after a few hours went by, I started to bond with the candle. His name is Jimmy. Yes, I named him. Bruh. In order to pass the time, we started doing some bonding activities, like making eggs, painting pictures of each other, and just spending quality time together. After a long day, I decided it was nap time. And after we woke up, we got ready for dinner at my favorite restaurant. But then, the following day came. I knew Jimmy's time 
time wasn't much longer on this earth. The label said he only burns for 40 hours. It started to hit me. I was going to lose my best friend. His flame was looking faint. And that's when I heard it. Jimmy burned for over 50 hours. So I guess candles really do burn for that long. This was unbelievable. My dad and I have always loved ice cream sandwiches. And today, we're gonna find out the difference between the lowest and highest rated ice cream sandwiches. We started off with the lowest rated one. It was described as awful and even multiple reviews saying that they would never eat this again. These were horrible. Definitely a one out of 10. And my dad's stomach agreed. So I headed to a famous spot known for having the best ice cream sandwiches in the world. And they even come inside of a donut. And the moment we've all been waiting for. These were amazing. A solid 9 out of 10. Today I'm gonna find out if it's actually true that a lighter can last up to 50 minutes. I bought a new lighter and started the timer to find out Timmy's lifespan. Yes. I named it Timmy. Bruh. We started off the day with a nice meal and then a workout. We even read a book. Timmy loves books. Bruh. I decided we needed to do some yoga, but I soon realized how tired my hand was from keeping this spark alive. So I decided to get some tape to help out. And after carefully observing Timmy, he started to look really bad and ended up passing away before the 15 minute mark. I guess lighters don't last that long. Ben Azalar and I have beef. Let me explain. I checked my mail and saw that YouTube sent me my diamond play button. But when I read the back, it said, Ben Azalar? They sent me the wrong one. So I went to Ben's house to tell him that YouTube made a big mistake. Ben, Ben, look, YouTube sent it to so the mine. And that's when this happened. <laughs> So we both called YouTube and they said They said they won't give me another one until I pass you in subscribers That's not gonna happen Bruh. I had to do whatever it would take My first idea was to buy a Hollywood tour bus And drive all around LA telling people to Subscribe to Topper Girl After driving around for hours My subscriber growth was still slow I'm not gonna pass Ben at this rate So I needed to go to my favorite place on earth to cheer me up And then it hit me I made a deal with the Transformers that they couldn't refuse You have a deal Subscribe! Subscribe to help me pass that. Today I got amazing news. McDonald's is now giving golden burgers from their secret menu if you have a burger tattoo. And this got me thinking. I was able to fake my way into getting a free Subway for Life card. So this should be a piece of cake. The plan was simple. I reached out to a professional body paint artist, explained to her exactly what I wanted, and paid her $10,000 for this realistic looking burger tattoo. Then I found the nearest McDonald's and it was time to put this to the test. I waited nervously in line until it was my turn and ask, I heard that if I have a Big Mac tattoo like this, I get a free Big Mac. Is that true? Will it actually work? They called out my number and it came out with a special box. No way! It's a golden burger! Try and guess how much this bowl of ice cream costs. $5? $50? Today, my goal is to create the world's largest ice cream. This was going to be expensive. I started with my favorite flavor, oyster cream. Bruh. Growing up, my parents never let me get the flavors I wanted. So it was time to go off. The ice cream supply felt endless. I kept going and going and going, trying to perfect my swirl technique. Yogurtland, you hiring? Bruh. This was getting out of hand. Now time for the best part, the toppings. This Sunday ended up costing over a hundred dollars. Mr. Beast sent me this mystery box. The other day, my doorbell rang, and I opened the door to find this mysterious safe sitting outside my house. Clearly sent from Mr. Beast himself. What could be inside? I needed to find out. I tried throwing the safe, hammering the safe, using a drill to try and get it open, but still no luck. Ah! I will stop at nothing to find out. When all of a sudden, the doorbell rang, and this time there was a key outside my house with a note attached to it that read, Sorry, forgot to give you the key. Signed, Mr. B. But the key was bent. What am I... Oh. There, there's another one. <laughs> so I used the key and opened it. At first, there was nothing interesting inside, but then I came across these notes. Here are the pickles, because I was a few pickles short on my last Mr. Beast burgers. And the second note read, call me. I called Mr. Beast, and he just told me how cool he thought I was. I never thought this was possible. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to dunk, but I've never been tall enough to. And that's when I got an idea to do some research and find out the secret to running faster and jumping higher. And that's when I found these shoes 
called Jumpman. I had to get my hands on a pair. Luckily, I found them at a shoe store close by and paid $10,000 for them. They even had this guy dunking on them. It was time to put them on and start stretching because there is a myth that stretching makes you taller. Let me tell you, some of these stretches were not easy. I think I pulled a hammy on that one. It was now time to put the Jumpmans to the test. So I ran at the hoop with my full force, jumped, and... Oh, let's go! I can't believe I got away with this. Every restaurant has rules posted outside stating no shoes, no shirt, no service. So today, I'm gonna put that to the test. I started with no shoes and wanted to see if this restaurant would give me service. And they totally did. Now it's time for the real challenge. No shirt, but still get service. So I did the obvious. I hired a professional body paint artist to make it look like I was wearing a shirt, but I'm actually not. Let's see if this works. Hi. Thank you. Can we please have a table for two? Of course, please. Perfect, thank you. So far, so good. I ate at the restaurant and nobody noticed I was shirtless. Well, except for that one guy. What happens when you bring a pony inside a pet-friendly hotel? I was just wondering if I could get a room for tonight. What was it? Like a donkey? No, this is, no, it's my dog. Bruh. No? Unfortunately, they denied Pony, but that wasn't gonna stop me. So we went to the next pet-friendly hotel. Hi there. I was just wondering if we could get a room for tonight. We saw you guys were pet-friendly, so. For how many nights? Uh, just one night. It was working. Pony was so excited. Until this. So that means that she wouldn't be allowed? Oh, Tula. Pony was crushed. So I had to give her a cookie to keep her spirits high and positive for our next hotel. We went in confidently and asked. Do we have a room for tonight? Unfortunately, they said no too. Aww. But then the manager met us outside and wanted to take photos with Pony. But I told him only if he gives us a room. And it actually worked. Let's go. This was the worst day of my life. Today I woke up super hungry and then thought, Chick-fil-A sounds fire. So I got out of bed, put my shoes on, and quickly ran to Chick-fil-A. I was so excited and then realized, Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday. I was so devastated and never wanted anybody else to feel like this. So I knew what I had to do. I waited until Chick-fil-A was opened again and then went up to order and said, Can I please do one of everything on the menu? I was ready to open my very own secret Chick-fil-A. There was going to be no hungry customers customers on this Sunday. So I camped out until it was the next Sunday and got to work. I set up the table, grabbed all the Chick-fil-A, and I even had my own custom Chick-fil-A uniforms. Within seconds, we already had customers. We even had a guy who wanted our drive through I'm good one, okay? How much do I owe you? It's free today. You're good. We'll see you what? later. This is awesome. And even a dog. This was the best Sunday ever. As you guys know, I love McDonald's. But the other day, I was wondering, is it possible to just order a slice of cheese? Well, there's only one way to find out. So I tried to do it online. Yes, American cheese, no meat, no salt, no Big Mac bun, and we should be good to go. They just canceled my order. <sighs> Attempt number one failed. But then I thought of another idea, the drive-thru. I ordered a Big Mac, but asked for nothing but cheese. I think this might have worked. I opened the box and found grilled cheese. Bruh. I had to step this up and head inside of McDonald's. I tried the machine that was inside of the store and took everything off the burger except for the cheese. After ordering, the workers literally called me over to make sure that they had the order right. I then got the order, opened the box, and it worked! Have you ever wondered what would happen if you set off every single alarm in the Apple store? Well, today, we're gonna find out. I started by playing it cool and gaining their trust, but this was taking forever. So I had my friend Steven distract them while I went to every single device in the Apple store and set the alarms for all the exact same time. I was becoming very nervous, so I had to do something calming. <laughs> It was now showtime. The alarms are about to go off. The alarms were going off in three, two, one. People in the store had no idea what was going on. And the employees were so confused. And that's when I got caught. <laughs> So as I was about to shower today, I remembered something. I'm more of a bath type of guy. And that got me thinking. It takes 5,437 Doritos to fill a bathtub. I wonder how many tablespoons of water it takes. I got right to work. And let me tell you, this was taking way longer than I expected. And then it hit me. The drain was opened. So back to square one. After doing this nonstop for what felt like a lifetime. Well, except for that one break. I was exhausted, but so close. So I pushed myself and found out it takes exactly 26,352.
This is Prime, and this is Gatorade. Today, we're gonna see which one of them will survive the highest drop. First, we have one foot. No damage done to either drink. Now we have five feet. The Gatorade already has a pretty big dent, and the Prime looks a little beat up, but definitely in better shape. Time for 10 feet. Gatorade this time actually looks pretty good. There's still a big dent, but the Prime bottle completely ripped. This is way closer than I thought it was going to be. Now time for the biggest drop of them all. 20 feet. We have our winner by knockout, Prime! Have you ever wondered how much money it would cost to buy every single gumball in a gumball machine? Well, luckily, I have nothing better to do. So I'm gonna figure this out for everybody. Besides, how long could it take? I started in a great rhythm, quarter after quarter, making great progress. And before I knew it, I already had 20 gumballs. But after doing the same thing over and over, this became exhausting. I realized I was going to be here a while, but I wasn't going down. And after hours of hard work, I figured out it cost $189 and 50 cents for an entire gumball machine. Go! Okay. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, the time, the time. Okay. Whoever we'll pops the first, whoever we'll pops the first. Oh my gosh! Dylan to the lead, Dylan to the lead. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no! Oh no, Topper! Don't get left behind, don't get left behind. Oh my gosh! Go, go! Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, he's throwing screws! Yes! Close, it's so close. Oh my god! Oh, one more! Ah! The world record for the longest kiss is 58 hours. And today, we're gonna break that. Since I finally have a girlfriend, I was ready to take on this challenge and become the next world record holder. Everything was going perfect until we got hungry. It then became very obvious there was no way to drive and go get food like this. So we had our friend give us a ride. It was a little awkward, Bruh. but we managed to get through it. We got to the restaurant and then ordered. But then we faced our next obstacle. How can we eat? Bruh. So we just got a milkshake instead. So after this, we decided to go to the mall and do some shopping. And everybody and they mama was staring at us. Bruh. And after walking around for what felt like forever, I got a call from my friends. They really wanted to go ice skating, and my girlfriend wasn't too happy about that. So I promised her I would get her some flowers after. <laughs> Which probably wasn't the best idea. Bruh. This is why I'm a genius. Let me explain. Today, I'm going to try and get free snacks inside of a movie theater. The plan? To fake my girlfriend's pregnancy. Bruh. My first step was to buy a hollow bowl and fill it up with our favorite candy. Then I had to tape it to her body to make sure nobody would notice. This was 100% going to work. And now for the moment of truth. We bought the tickets and... It totally worked. This was the best movie ever. The other day, I found out that if you put a ring of salt around a Tesla, it makes the car temporarily unable to drive. And that left me with the idea of finding a random Tesla owner to test this theory on. And luckily for me, there was a Tesla parked right next to me. I found my target. So I patiently waited for him to get out of his car and walk away from it. It was go time. We had a small window of time to get this done before he came back to his frozen Tesla. Once we finished placing all the salt, it was time to wait in the car and get his reaction. After waiting over two hours, oh my gosh, he's coming, he's coming, he's right there. He was finally coming back to the Tesla. I've never seen anybody so confused. <laughs> oh my gosh, yo, he's going to the car. It's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. He's literally not gonna be able to drive. Wait, what? It doesn't work? What happens when you bring a horse to a dog groomer? Hey, uh, I want to get my dog groomed. They brought out the entire team and even the manager to debate this request. Uh, I, I don't, it's because I don't think they're certified. But as I suspected, they rejected me. Pony was so crushed after being rejected that she wouldn't even have her favorite drink from Starbucks. So we went to the next pet groomer. And after another debate, awesome, here. <laughs> no. Pony was defeated. We galloped confidently to our next groomer. The most fancy pet Pet spa in LA called Groom Dog Care with Love. So I walked up and asked, I'm looking to get my, uh, my dog groom. What's the name? Uh, this is Tulo. She's a big girl. Okay, right? let me get the groom. It's time for the moment of truth. So, would you be open to grooming Tulo? Yeah, of course. Really? Yeah. It actually worked. Pony loved her bath, her haircut, and even her new French braid with the bow. 
I'm about to break a world record. This is one basketball. And this is 10. The 10 ball 30 pointer. This was my first attempt. The balls weigh over 50 pounds and stand at over 8 feet tall. There's no way I could give up on this challenge. I was prepared to be here all day, all night, however long it would take. The one thing I knew is that I was going to be a world record holder. I don't care if I'm 80 by the time I'm done here. Bruh. This was my 20th attempt. I kept trying and trying and trying. And on my last shot, if I make this, everyone has to subscribe. Oh, no, that has to count. These changed my life. We all know Crocs have two modes. Chillin' mode and sports mode. And I'm always running late, so that got me thinking. Can putting my Crocs into sport mode actually give me a speed boost? Well, I guess it's time to find out. So I grabbed my favorite Crocs and headed to the nearest speed testing location. After stretching and warming up for a bit, it was time to put these Crocs to the test. I started with my Crocs in chillin' mode. My first couple attempts ended Crocless, but I figured out how to keep them on and finished 100 meters in about 15 seconds now it's time for what we've been waiting for sports mode instantly i felt weightless i finished 100 meters in 12 seconds that's way fast she couldn't even tell the difference my grandma and i love starbucks but sometimes it's a little expensive so my goal is to get her addicted to cheaper coffee i started by rushing over to the nearest mcdonald's to grab a one dollar coffee i then went to starbucks and stole an empty cup to disguise my mcdonald's drink i then picked up my grandma and took her to starbucks i told her the coffee was on me she liked that while my grandma was waiting for her drink i took the mcdonald's coffee and put it in the starbucks cup we then went outside and I made the switch. She then took a sip of it and... How big am I? I'm actually 5'10". And today we're gonna find out how many bottles of Prime it takes to reach my height. One bottle. This tower was already getting tall. I wonder how many it's gonna take. Five bottles. Six bottles. <sighs> From the top. Bruh. Seven bottles. How is this stay? This tower is getting tall. I'm still taller than it. Hurry up, it's falling. Okay. Ten bottles. Oh. Oh! It's hard! No! No! How many layers of bubble wrap does it take to stop a human being? Whoa! That's one! My dad is the test subject today. Let's see if he can get through two layers. Yeah! Let's go! Oh my god! Oh! Too easy! Five layers! Oh! Oh! He got it! We now have ten layers. You're gonna need some protection for this one. I don't think this is a good idea, Sean! Go for it! Oh! Oh, he got it! Let's go! 20 layers, Dad. You think you got it? You got me, son! Go for it! Oh, he's going! No! <laughs> One, two, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve! Ah! One, two, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve! Ah! I bought a new pair of white shoes and decided today was the day to show them off. But then, the unimaginable happened. My shoes, food waster. After trying to get them professionally cleaned and using thousands of dollars worth of machinery to try and clean the shoes, yeah. I had to accept that they were goners. It was time to move forward, so I got a new pair of white shoes. This means I have to protect them at all costs. So I went to hire some backup. I had the US Marines on the case to protect my babies. But right when I thought nothing bad could happen, wait! You saved my shoes. I got you, bro. No! Starbucks always gets people's names wrong. So today we're putting that to the test. I went into the Starbucks and the worker asked me this. Perfect. What's your name? Topper. As I waited for my drink, I thought there was no way they were going to spell my name wrong. Timmy? Like Timmy Neutron? I thought maybe it was just this location. So I tried another Starbucks. This time giving them a name, they couldn't possibly mess up. Yes, Eric. E-R-I. I see. Iraq? Like the YouTuber? Bruh. This has to be some sort of joke. I started to lose hope standing outside my third Starbucks. But this time, I got an idea. I was gonna give them the hardest name I could possibly think of. Joaquin. And now for the moment of truth. They spelled it right! 
This happens every time. My shoes always get creased, and it's impossible to uncrease them. It was time to say goodbye to my old creased shoes, and time to buy some brand new ones. My goal? Survive a whole day without creasing my shoes. I started off by putting a ton of socks on to better fill out the shoes. I couldn't walk like a normal person, so I had to do the duck walk. Then came my first major obstacle, the escalator. Once I safely made it up, my legs were hurting, so I had the idea to call my strongest friend and have him carry me around but apparently he was not as strong as i thought Bruh. i tried everything i could to not crease my shoes besides my final move the roly poly it was working i survived the whole day without creasing my shoes but i had not anticipated my sleepwalking how could i have been so dumb <sighs> I guess my sleepwalking explains why I'm so jacked. Bruh. I then woke up overcome with joy to see my beautiful- I failed. This morning, I was woken up with terrible news. Bro, get up. You got a dentist appointment in 30 minutes. Why this was so terrible? During my last dentist visit, I promised my dentist I would floss every day. But I haven't flossed once. I knew what I had to do. Then, I ran out of time. Hurry up, you're gonna be late. From getting dressed to the waiting room, I was beyond nervous. Hopper, we're ready for you. I followed him to my room and sat down knowing I was a liar. Hey, Topper. Ready for your checkup? I can't do this. I have to tell him. So have you been flossing? Like you promised? Of course, Dr. Gabe. I'm ready. Okay, let's take a peek. I was in too deep and didn't have the guts to tell him. And in just a few seconds... How could you? Doctor, it's not what it looks like. You should leave. The lesson today, never forget to floss. Today I am going to send Mr. Beast the first ever Mr. Beast chocolate bar fountain. But first, I've got to make one. Bruh. So I went to the store and bought every single Mr. Beast bar I could find. I started by melting all the Beast chocolate down. And once they were all melted, it was time to pour it into the fountain. It's working! And now that the chocolate fountain is complete, I decided to make some treats for Mr. Beast. I made some chocolate covered strawberries, apples, more strawberries. Jimmy, I hope you enjoy these. Bruh. Once they were all covered in chocolate, I I had to put them in the freezer so they would all cool down. And after waiting what felt like forever, it's now time to send Mr. Beast the first ever Mr. Beast bar chocolate fountain covered fruit. I hope he appreciates this. I flew on the world's most expensive airplane seat that cost more than $100,000. The inside was amazing, and my seat was huge. They had two flat screen TVs, a salon with everything you need, and even a snack basket. Once it was time to order food, they handed me a menu with some delicious options. May I please do the steak, eggs, and an iced tea, please? While waiting, I checked out the bathroom and found this. I'm literally taking a shower on the plane. The food was then delivered by the nicest flight attendants, and I even saw... I think I see the pilots eating sushi. The sushi. After dinner, I was given a pillow and a blanket and decided to sleep the rest of the flight. The only downside? I'm down 100k. This is one of the worst rated motels in America. Out of 10 stars, it got one star, warning people to never stay here. But today, I checked in and went to go see my room. Oh my gosh, dude. No way this is actually a motel. The bed sheets had weird stains. What is that? The water was brown, and oh we even God. found two cockroaches in the shower. Dude, no, 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 no. We need to leave right now. We have to stay here. No. He was right. I had already paid for the room and the morning breakfast, so I had to stay the night. Once I woke up, I went to grab the breakfast, and this is what it was. Bro, I I'm not eating that. We're I can't believe I found this. The other day, I decided to go magnet fishing with the world's strongest magnet. I took it to a spot that is famously known for having the best magnet fishing finds. I decided it was time to test my luck. My first attempt was unsuccessful, but I wasn't going to let that stop me. I was at this so long that the rope started to burn a crack in the dock. After countless of attempts and trying my absolute hardest, I finally felt something heavy. I think I hooked something. I pulled as fast as I could with all my might. But once I got it up, I couldn't even open it. So I had to take it home and use my most powerful tools. And finally, I found a note that read, If you are reading this, you are one step closer to finding the hidden treasure. I will tell you the secret hiding place if everyone watching likes and subscribes. Like and subscribe! The other day, I had the world's most expensive gold steak. And this got me thinking, is there actually a difference between the most expensive steak and a $1 steak? Well, today I'm gonna find out. I ran over to the nearest steak restaurant and brought my $1 with me. I scanned the menu and quickly found out that the cheapest steak was over $1,000. I contemplated giving up on this challenge. But then remembered, I have nothing better to do. So I went to the 99 cent store and found my $1 steak. I then got home and put it in the microwave. 
microwave. As I waited for it, I had to mentally prepare by doing yoga and becoming at peace. Was this steak gonna taste like absolute garbage? Or was it gonna be as good as that gold steak I just had? One way to find out. The steak was now ready, and now for the moment we've all been waiting for. This was amazing! Every time I go to the movies, I always get popcorn. But the last time I went, it just wasn't hitting the spot. And then I got an idea to sneak a five-star meal into the movie theater. My plan, buy a baby carrier, order a five-star meal from one of the top-rated restaurants in LA, and cover it to make it look like I have a baby. Genius, I know. Bruh. So far, so good. I walked up with confidence, and they totally let me in and didn't even question it. This was the best movie I have ever seen because I was was able to enjoy a five-star meal while watching. I am the biggest Harry Potter fan in the world. So much so that I even have a Harry Potter tattoo. And people have always told me I look like him. And then it hit me. Potter has all the letters Topper has. Harry is my brother's name. And James is Harry Potter's middle name. And that is my other brother's name. Am I Harry Potter? So I did the only logical thing. I went to the store, bought a broom, and was ready to test if I was a wizard. And now for the moment of truth... I guess not. Oh! Bruh. What was- What was that? <laughs> oh! oh no, 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 no. It has to be done! <laughs> Bruh. cry with a hundred dollars once i was two and i came back from my dad and then like my pet fish died and they had to flush him down the toilet Bruh. your videos like every time i watch them they make my day I'm I'm, subscribed. you're subscribed you're not gonna make me cry but here's twenty dollars make me cry and win a hundred dollars you're never gonna hit 20 million subscribers on youtube <laughs> you know here just take the money Bruh. dude why does everybody say that what happens when you leave a car covered in money in public? I have no idea, but today we're gonna figure it out. We started by covering my Tesla in dollar bills one by one. This was taking way too long. After four hours, it was finally time to place the last dollar bill. Now it's time to see how people react. But there was just one problem. We still had to drive the car into public. We could risk losing all the money on the way there. So this left us with no choice. But to send it, Bruh. everyone was staring. I knew that once we got to the spot, it would be absolute craziness. We parked and instantly people started taking money. We were losing dollar bills by the second. The car was getting swarmed. Even a kid took some. It was time to move to our next location. This spot was even crazier. The car went from being completely covered to almost empty within seconds until the security guard rolled up. Luckily, I was able to bribe him with some of the one dollar bills. Hundreds of people had taken money off this car. And before I knew it, all the money was gone. It's like I'll take it. <laughs> This is how you get a free burrito at Chipotle. I recently found out that if you order a bowl and ask for double of everything, they will give you enough food in that bowl for two whole burritos for only the price of one. So today, I'm gonna put that to the test and see if that really is true. Once it was my turn, I ordered a bowl and two tortillas on the side. I then asked for both white and brown rice and half chicken and half steak. I proceeded to get double toppings on my bowl as well. Did ordering double of everything actually end up saving me more money? Well, it was time to get home and figure this out. And for the moment of truth, it totally did. This burrito was heavier than this five pound weight. Three, two, one. Okay, bro. Yo, you think you can do that blindfolded? Easy. Okay, ready? Here we go. Here, throw this on. Come on. You know who I am, bro? Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my god, right. Bro, that's already so impressive. Too easy. Make it go faster. You want it faster? All right, ready? I'm going to hit it. Let's go. Oh my god, go! Oh my, bro, this is insane! Let's go. Woo! Oh, oh, bro, that was a close one! Oh my god! Red! <laughs> Let's go! Three, two, one, go! Wow, holy! Oh my gosh, dude, you're so good at this! Whoa! Do you think you can do that blindfolded? Oh, what? Of course. For sure? Alright, here, throw this on. Three, two, one, go! 
Oh my gosh, Holy, you're so good at this? Dude, how is it not hitting you? Oh my gosh, that was close, that was close. All right, ready, I'm gonna hit it. Go faster, go faster, go. Holy, go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, bro, you're good. Yo, dude, take off your blindfold. That was insane. We did it. Today I got the best news of my life. Free Subway for life, it'll cost you a 12 by 12 inch tattoo of a foot long sub. So I did the obvious. I called a professional body paint artist and was given very specific instructions to pull this off. Number one, shave your chest. Number two, pay me a thousand dollars. After both of these were complete and the sandwich was on my stomach, it was go time. Okay, so I heard online that if you have a Subway sandwich tattoo, that you get free Subway. One second, I have something for you. This car gives you free subway for life. Oh my gosh, dude, no way! I have a massive crush on this girl named Hannah. And last week, I tried to be smooth with her. So, do you ever think we'll be more than friends? Yeah, Tomber. If the world was ending. I was devastated. But then that got me thinking. What if I convinced her that the world was actually ending? So that I could finally date the girl of my dreams. The first part of the plan was to invite her over. Hey, once we were on the couch, I turned on the TV, and it was time for the moment I had been waiting for. So, I gave my friend the green light. Command has detected the launch of 12 nuclear what? missiles aimed towards the mainland United States. The world is oh, 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 what should we do? Bruh. It was totally working. How could this plan possibly go wrong? Until... Wait, what? The video ended. You said it was the only way! I've always wanted to do this. This morning, I woke up and went to shower, but then realized my building's water was turned off. I was totally crushed, but then it hit me. It's raining outside. The plan? Make a giant sign that says splash me, then grab my soap and Crocs and go outside for my free shower. Oh my god! This was totally working, and it's completely free! Yeah! I feel squeaky clean. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you walked up to a millionaire's mansion and asked to sleep over? Look that kid on TikTok that wastes food. No, 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 no! After 10 hours and almost getting in, Hola. Me puedo dormir en tu casa. We still couldn't get a yes until this house. I've actually seen quite a few of your videos. Really? Yeah, yeah, quite a few. Do you mind if I sleep over here? Come on, come on in. This place was incredible. It had a volleyball court, a golf course, and if that wasn't already cool enough, they had a water slide. The owners were so nice and even gave me the master bedroom to sleep. Today I'm going to be busting myths at the world's most expensive theme park. So for this first one, in Harry Potter world, we all know about their famous butter beer. But if you ask for the... Can I please do one movie wizard? Thank you so much. They bring this out. Oh my gosh, dude, no way. Myth confirmed. <laughs> Next in Simpsons land, I heard that you can trade a massive donut to one of the workers and they'll let you cut the line. Is that true? Yes, thank you so much. Myth confirmed. I couldn't even believe this final one. In Jurassic World, there is a myth that all the dinosaurs on the ride are made of real dinosaur bones. So I had to ask a worker. That is possible. So yeah. Myth confirmed. How long does it take to bake cookies in a hot car? Today it is blistering hot and over 100 degrees outside. So I knew I had to test this out. Now we just sit in the car and wait. Ugh, how much longer? Bruh. It's barely been an hour and the cookies look like this and I look like this. They're not even done cooking. What do we do to make the car hotter? I have an idea. <laughs> This isn't gonna work! Bruh. After another two hours went by, the temperature in my car was only rising. And then it hit me. I don't even have to be in the car to see them cook. I was so hot that I started to hallucinate. Subscribe to Topper Gills. Five hours had now gone by, and it was time to check on the cookies. All right, let's see how these look. Oh my gosh, they're actually super cooked. Mission accomplished. 
I had to be the first person to try this. Young Bricks Pizza is now giving a golden pizza from their secret menu if you have a pizza tattoo. So I knew what I had to do. I have successfully been able to get a golden burrito from Chipotle and a golden Big Mac from McDonald's. So now it's time to see if I can successfully get a free golden slice of pizza from David Dobrik's Pizza Restaurant. To do this, I had to reach out to a professional body paint artist and explain to her exactly what I wanted. It took hours to paint this slice of pizza onto my stomach. And we had multiple distractions along the way. After what felt like an eternity, the pizza was done and it was time to pay the body paint artist. Then I rushed over to Dobrik's and waited until it was my turn and asked, I heard that if I have a Dobrik's pizza tattoo like this, I get a free slice of golden pizza. Is that true? I then nervously waited until they called my name and it worked. It's a golden slice of pizza. The other day, I was wondering, what actually happens to your poop after you flush it? Well, I have nothing better to do, so let's find out. I started by grabbing an air tag and making an apple smoothie. <laughs> Get it? Bruh. Anyways, I drank the smoothie and waited until it was time. This air tag was about to embark on a journey it did not know was possible. It was now time to track it. Ooh, this thing was traveling way faster than I expected. It has to be moving through the pipes or something. I followed it around LA until I ended up here. And just as I was about to give up, I realized it never left my body. I was tracking myself all day. Bruh. Bruh. So there's a bunch of secret Disneyland myths, and today we're gonna bust all of them. There is a myth that Disneyland has special air vents that smell like desserts in order to make people hungry and buy their food. So we sniffed around and found this. Dude, this literally smells like cotton candy. Myth confirmed. There is a myth that Disney has a basketball court inside Matterhorn Mountain. So I found an employee and had to ask. Is that true? That is true. Really? There's actually one in there? Yeah. The next myth is that if you give a Disneyland employee a churro, they'll let you cut the line. If I give you this churro, can I cut to the front of this line? I'm oh, sorry, I can, man. No? Okay, well, myth busted, but at least I got a churro. How many balloons does it take to make an iPhone float? Well, I guess more than one. Three? No. Six? No. Ten? Not even close. Maybe 15 will do the job. 15 balloons. Boy, I was wrong. At this point, I was unsure if this was even possible. I increased the amounts of balloons by increments of five. 25, this has to work. Oh, 30 balloons. Oh my gosh. I was determined to find out how many balloons this would take. 35 balloons, here we go. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, it's going down. 50 balloons. Oh my gosh. Wait. Yo, it's <laughs> Let's go! 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 Let's go!
Hey, super random question for you guys. When's the last time you've been to Disneyland? 38 years, 38 years ago? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I actually have two extra tickets with me today. Do you guys want to come with me to Disneyland? Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Wow. Magnanimous of you. Yeah, you guys want to come? Yeah. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. Wow. Go for it. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> What'd you think of the ride? Man, that was great. I only had to change my underwear two or three times. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, of course. Thank you so much, Topper, for today. Really? It brought back so it's many a lifetime great memories. of memories. One of course, yeah. guys. I feel like 99 again. How many pieces of saran wrap can a human get through? Yeah. What is too easy? Five. Yeah. Yeah. That's a unit. Five was not that easy, and now we got ten. Yeah. Fifteen layers. I don't know about this one. Yeah. Oh my God. Fifteen layers. Take two. Give me that. Yeah. Let's go! 50 layers. Let's get it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. It won't hold me! Today I am going to find out how many strokes it takes to finish a Sharpie. This may sound crazy, but the internet says a Sharpie will literally never run out. I beg to differ. I took this Sharpie everywhere I went. And I mean everywhere. I was honestly starting to believe that the internet may actually be right. For the last few weeks, I've spent a lot of alone time with the Sharpie. And honestly, I think I'm gonna miss him. Because I found out it takes exactly 2,386! I was having the best day ever until my phone died. I had no way to copy, uh, I mean, create my content. Yeah. But then I realized I have this, a solar panel phone charger. Both my phone and the charger are dead. And the only way for me to get home is Uber. The sun is already charging it, but I need to get closer. Then I got an idea. I went to the nearest lifeguard tower as fast as I could, but it still wasn't charging fast enough. And then it hit me. I had to get as close to the sun as I possibly could. And now for the moment of truth. Oh my God. It's Working. How many pieces of toilet paper can a human get through? Let's yeah. go. What is too easy? Four. Let's go. Yeah. Light work, baby. Thirteen. Run out. Run out. Yeah. Forty. Let's go. 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 Yeah. A hundred layers. I'm honestly pretty nervous about this one. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! I can't believe I made that. A thousand layers of toilet paper. I feel like I'm about to play some football. Let's get it. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's literally holding me! I can't believe this happened to me. The other day, I was at the park when I saw the cutest squirrel. And I needed to take a photo of it. As I reached for my phone, it fell out of my pocket right through the storm drain. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was crushed. But then realized I had to get my phone out of the drain. Bruh. So I had to use my resources. My gum and my shoelace. Bruh. As I tried to get the phone, the gum wasn't sticky enough. And the shoelace wasn't sturdy enough. Bruh. So I needed to find some stronger support. Attempt number two. The stick. After carefully lowering the now more so chewed gum, the stick wasn't long enough. So now for my final attempt. Finding a $5,000 magnet off the internet in hopes of getting my phone back. After I met up with the guy and got the magnet, I lowered it down and... I got it! I got it! It was totally working! Oh, let's go! I did it! <sighs> but then realized that the magnet completely wiped the phone and it doesn't work anymore. Bro. Today, I'm gonna see if I can survive an entire day with only eating free samples. We started our journey at Panda Express. Oh, you guys aren't doing samples? What? Bruh. Okay, oh. no worries. But unfortunately, things did not go as planned. We decided to head to Chipotle. Can I have a little sample of the steak? They only gave me one piece. I'm gonna be starving. Dude, we have to go somewhere else. I'm gonna be so hungry all day. We made our way over to Sample Heaven, Costco. They gave us chili, taquitos, tea, and so many other foods. This was literally the best stop ever. I even got a little workout in, Bruh. and they had some protein for me. We may actually be able to survive this challenge. After we absolutely pigged out at Costco, the next move was obvious. Time for some dessert. So we went to Yogurt Land, and they said, Can I make some little sample here? Well, I guess strawberry water is a good dessert. She said yes. 
This is Annie, and I've been talking to her for a couple of months now and decided today was the day I was going to ask her the big question. People make it their mission to take the craziest photos on Splash Mountain, and today I was going to become one of those people. I planned this for weeks in advance with my friends and even practiced at home to get the timing right. The day came where me and my friends were going to make this a day she would never forget. I had the surprise in my backpack all day, and Annie had no idea what was about to happen. We had Annie sit in the front, so there is no way that she could possibly see what we were doing behind her. The time came for the big drop. We had everything set and... I was hoping that the wind and water didn't ruin my surprise. I rushed her to view the photo before it went off the screen and I asked, will you be my girlfriend? She was completely shocked and... I just took the biggest risk of my life. This year, I got a Coachella ticket, but didn't have a place to stay. So my plan, just like I've done successfully before, I'll be asking millionaires at Coachella if I can stay with them. Hi, can I stay with you just for Coachella? No. Bruh. This was brutal because it was so hot outside. No. I was now wondering once again if the word yes even still existed. No. Absolutely not. Until this house. Can I stay with you for Coachella weekend? Is that a yes? I think so. Bruh. Voldemort's house was actually very nice. And there was lots of fun activities to do. It had a basketball court, a golf course. It even had a pool. Shout out Voldemort, because this was the best weekend ever. According to the internet, it is impossible to tear a sheet of paper more than seven times. <laughs> Challenge accepted. I grabbed the paper, studied it, reminded it who it was messing with, and got to work. After the first few tears, I was getting pretty confident I could tear this more than seven times. But suddenly, the paper decided to toughen up and wasn't budging easily. I was giving it everything I had. I wasn't gonna let the paper beat me. So I picked things up a notch. And after the strength the Spider-Man mask gave me, I defeated it. So I was scrolling on my phone and saw all my friends were doing such cool stuff over the weekend. Like traveling, partying, driving supercars, and even meeting their favorite YouTubers. Bruh. Missing out on everything. My problem? I don't have friends. Bruh. I didn't get a single text this weekend. And I was bored out of my mind. I knew what I had to do. Make everybody jealous. So I rented a Hollywood movie set to fool people into thinking I was taking a private jet across the world. All right, bro, get off me. Get off the then I set up a green screen so I could convince people that I landed in Paris. Just made it to Paris, guys! Yeah! My plan was totally working. Everyone was believing I was cool. This was the best day ever. Even my dad called me. Hey, dad. Are you in Paris? Yeah, yeah, I just got here. It's incredible. That's funny because your location says you're home. And just like that, my plan fell apart. My phone started blowing up. Everyone knew I was a fraud. What I learned, I will never be cool. So today, I was in the bathroom, and I went to wash my hands. I began to wash them aggressively because they felt super nasty. And now they were super soaking wet. So I went to dry them and saw this. This made no sense to me. Bruh. Who would do such a thing? I looked in the trash to see if I could find something to dry my hands with. But there was nothing. I was extremely frustrated. But then thought, could I be getting pranked? I instantly started looking around the bathroom for hidden cameras and found a, a very angry old man. Once again, so sorry about that, sir. Bruh. But this wasn't going to stop me from getting my hands dry. I had an idea. The Flappy Bird technique. Still wet. But then, it hit me. I instantly started drying my hands in my beautiful hair. With my rapid movement strategy, it totally worked. My hands were dry. No! How many pumps does it take to finish a bottle of soap? Well, lucky for you guys, my schedule wasn't looking too busy. So we're gonna find out. I knew this challenge might take weeks or even months. So I named our new little guy, Calvin. Calvin and I were gonna do everything together. We started by cleaning my table, which then led me to cleaning my phone and even my car. That one kind of took a while. Bruh. I knew Calvin wasn't gonna survive until Halloween. So I got our costume early this year. Don't we look great? Bruh. After Calvin wrote me a sweet note, it was time to wash my hands from all the crazy work today. It took exactly 452 yeah. pumps to finish the bottle of soap. As you guys know, I refuse to waste anything. Bruh. So instead of squeezing harder than I do on the toilet, just to get the tiniest little drop of toothpaste, I bought some toothpaste squeezers. This first one kind of looked like Shrek, and it was difficult to place the toothpaste into. But I had hope it would save the day. As the little Shrek was squeezing, I realized that there was still some toothpaste in there, and it wasn't working as I hoped it would. This next one looked even more promising. It seemed as if it would give the vacuum effect that I was looking for. But as I tried to get it set up, it... 
bro. Luckily, bro. I saved the best for last. This one was the most expensive and the most durable. And it was making the most progress. Squeeze after squeeze after squeeze just to realize that there was no more toothpaste left in the tube. Right. Now I had no other option but to get rid of my toothpaste. This was the worst celebration ever. The other day, I decided to throw myself a 16 million subscriber party. I started by making these invitations and mailing them out to all my friends. And then I went to the store to get all my favorite decorations for the party. This was gonna be lit. Bruh. I needed everything to be perfect. Once I purchased all the decorations, I rented out the largest mansion I could find for my epic party. And then I started setting up. Everything was coming together so nicely. Now it was just time to wait for all my friends to show up and join the party. They had to be here any second. <laughs> Three hours went by and I was starting to rethink if anyone actually likes me. And I was starting to feel hopeless until my best friend showed up. Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> Loser! <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> and that's why... I can't believe nobody noticed. I was able to fake my way into getting service at a restaurant wearing no shirt and no shoes. Bruh. So today, I'm gonna see if I can get service with no pants. Yup, you heard me right. Bruh. The plan was simple. I reached out to a professional body paint artist and she gave me specific instructions to pull this off. After hours of being a professional mannequin and $30,000 later, it really looked like I was wearing pants. Let's see if this works. So far, so good. I ate at the restaurant and nobody noticed that my pants were painted on. It actually worked and I had no problem. This is the world's most expensive golden steak that costs more than $2,000 and I'm dying to take a bite. But there's no way I'm paying thousands of dollars to try it. I really want that steak. So my plan was simple. I found the gold sheets that they use on Amazon for only $20 and I'm gonna sneak them into the restaurant. Once we arrived, they walked us to our seats and sat us down. This was definitely the place. We scoped out the restaurant and looked for security cameras. None found. It was then time to order. So I found the cheapest steak on the menu. I then place my order like any other ordinary person would. Bruh. Finally, my steak arrived, and it was go time. I discreetly pulled out the golden sheets and placed them all over the steak. It looked incredible, exactly like the $2,000 steak that they display. People even took pictures of this is a real-life flying ghost that flies using a drone. And today, we are gonna scare people with it and get their reaction. First, we went to the park and saw some kids playing basketball. So we had to get them. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my- Now we're about to prank my mom. <laughs> and last, we scared my friend who was walking oh my by the pool. Oh my gosh, bro, it's not even turning on. Do not speak into the phone and I'll buy you whatever you want for Christmas. What's your name? Just real quick, can you just tell the camera your name just before we start? Please? Okay, you win. All right, whatever you want for Christmas, I'll buy you. Okay, so you're just not gonna talk? All right, let's go. This place? Okay, let's go. You're really not gonna tell me your size? You're gonna do it with your fingers? Don't answer me if you think everybody watching this should follow me. Perfect, thank you so much. Okay, here you go. Here are the shoes. Merry Christmas. Now that I bought you them and like they're all yours and they're in your hands, you won the game. Can I know your name? This is how I win at everything. It all started when I was playing basketball alone because everyone thought I was bad. I was lonely and sad, but then it hit me. I was about to change my life forever. The plan was simple. I was going to paint this basketball with the darkest black paint known to mankind because it absorbs 99% of all visible light and detail. In other words, this ball will be invisible. This is totally working. I can't even see the ball. In the game of basketball, you always have to know where the ball is. So this is the ultimate trick to win every game. Nobody will see this coming. Not even me. 
This is a Starbucks, and around the corner is another Starbucks. Today, my goal is simple, to start some beef. Hi there. Can I just have something really fun? Starbucks A was taking this serious. They clearly didn't want to lose this battle. After patiently waiting, whatever they made me was definitely not on the menu. But let's see what Starbucks B has to say about that. To be totally honest with you, I was at another Starbucks down the street, and they told me that they can make a way better fun drink than you guys. I got a bone to pick with that. Yes, you do! The beef has begun. So you think that you can top them? Oh, I know it. Starbucks B had some beautiful color to it. Some might say the perfect shade of pink. But Starbucks A had quite the visual appeal. There can only be one winner. And I'm gonna have to go with Starbucks B. Perfect! Today I am going to find out how many strokes it takes to finish a piece of chalk. I have committed myself to finding the answers to useless information that nobody wants to know. You're welcome. I knew this was going to take all day, possibly all night, but that's okay. I have nothing else to do. I chalked, chalked, and even chalked some more. I was so determined to get you guys this answer that I even ran out of room on my chalkboard and started chalking my door, my Xbox, and even my car. Just to find out, it takes exactly... 11,382. Today, I am going to the worst rated restaurant in my city. My goal is to leave a five-star review for this one-star restaurant. But the only rule is, I can't lie. Seeing the one-star reviews online, or the police helicopter circling the building, it was safe to say, I think this might be my hardest challenge yet. Walking in, I thought this place didn't look so bad. They even had a chair to hold the door for new customers. Oh, how polite. I was then seated and asked for a Coke. But they brought me a water. However, Coke is unhealthy, so they were just looking out for me one star it was not time for some food they had pizza sushi roast chicken but i decided to go with a simple meal my utensils didn't really work but i guess eating with my hands is more fun this tastes exactly like my lunch from school definitely a star and finally i went to the bathroom and it was decorated with fine art all over the walls which gives this place total character and charm so uh star time to get out of here the best star of them all was meeting all my fans there's no way this is real. The other day I was enjoying my Starbucks, but then I saw this. A $500 coffee made by a robot in Japan. Being the coffee expert I am, I knew I had to try this right away. So I booked my flight and headed to the airport. After my 14 hour flight, I got off the plane and there it was. As soon as I placed my order, the robot got right to work. The technology was so advanced that it was working at lightning speed. It even told everybody to subscribe. And once it was done it brought my drink to me and this is amazing best coffee ever i had the worst birthday ever ever since i was a kid i've always wanted to rent out an entire theme park for my birthday so the first thing i did was call disneyland to see how much it would cost to rent the park for the entire day that will be eight million dollars that wasn't happening i did the next logical thing and tried to get a regular ticket but everything was sold out so i then did the next logical thing which was calling up one of my friends who owns the theme park and begging him and we got the yes i invited all my friends and told them the great news about how much fun we were gonna have as soon as i got to the amusement park i couldn't believe my eyes this place was huge my friends had to be here any second so i waited and still nobody showed up i don't think anybody's coming but i wasn't gonna let that ruin my day so i went inside and went on every single ride and played every single game there i was exhausted from my day at the theme park so i decided to go back home i was a bit sad that my friends didn't show up but then i got to the airbnb and saw this <laughs> They all surprised me with my favorite cake. This ended up being the best birthday ever, instead of me thinking. I found these ridiculous coupons online and wanted to put them to the test, starting at Starbucks. I have a coupon that says if I give you a croc, I get two free Starbucks drinks. Is that true? I have never seen it. You've never seen it? That's a dirty croc too. It's dirty? This coupon could have actually worked if the crocs were brand new. Time to move on to our next store. Dunkin' Donuts. Well, I have a coupon that says if I give you guys a free tire, I get he had to show the coupon to the entire team. And it was totally valid. Now it's time for our final coupon, McDonald's. I have a coupon that says if I give you a potato, I get french fries. After the manager reviewed it, it totally worked. Oreo roulette. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh my gosh! Ew. Oh. 
So I was hanging out in my living room, and I came across the craziest video of somebody playing with their PS5 inside their Maybach. And then I remembered, I have a Maybach. Well, something like that. So I grabbed my PS5 and ran over to my car as fast as I could. I put the PS5 down, made sure it was safe, and plugged in all the wires. For the moment of truth, it didn't work. What could be wrong? Two things. This isn't a Maybach, and I forgot to plug it in. So I bought a thousand feet of extension cord to make sure this would work. And for the moment of truth... It worked! Oh my god! Oh! 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 This is my best idea yet. IHOP has a rule where after 4 p.m. kids eat for free. So I did the only logical thing. I disguised myself as a baby to see if it was possible to eat for free. Did he look No, no, I completely believe it. Really? I made sure to stay in character the entire time. Bruh. There is no way they are going to catch me. This was actually kind of nice. Wait, here comes the food. It worked! <laughs> It was now time to get the check to see if we really pulled it off. And then, uh, was the kid's meal taken off? Yeah. You, you'll be able to see it says, uh, minus 9.7. There's no... We did it. So apparently, it's impossible to draw this shape. It's actually scientifically proven that this is the only shape in the entire world that is impossible to draw. So I had to try this myself. The only rule is that you cannot lift up your marker. Bruh. I was losing hope that I could figure this out on my own. So I had to bring in some backup. Luckily, all my friends have an IQ of one. So all together, we have five. Bruh. Just like it's impossible to draw this shape, it's impossible to hit the like and no. subscribe button at the oh, same time. Oh, oh, oh. Whoever can draw this shape also wins a thousand. Dollars. Shutters tried. How did you mess that up? Bruh. Annie tried. <laughs> you guys are terrible at this. Tori tried. And finally, Guys, I got it! I am going to create the ultimate drink by mixing together 25 different sodas. So I gathered all the most popular drinks in the world and began mixing. I was off to a rough start, Bruh. but nothing was gonna stop me. I am more focused than ever. I kept mixing and mixing and mixing, and the number of drinks kept going up. Like this video if you've had any of these sodas. I was so close to being done, and finally the drink of a lifetime was complete. Now that all the sodas are mixed, it's time to taste it. Here we go. Oh my gosh, yo, this is amazing. Today, I found a sign for a missing dog named Nibbles with a $50,000 reward. And I had to do whatever it would take to get the 50, Bruh. I mean, return the dog to its rightful owner. So I went to the first place a dog would run away to, the dog toy store. But Nibbles was nowhere to be seen. I then realized I was moving too slow and headed to his last known location, the dog park. Upon arriving, I realized this was going to be much harder than I had expected. I made a few trips around the park and carefully observed each dog, but still no Nibbles. I was starting to give up until I found this. A note with Nibbles' name on it, on the back of a Dobrik's pizza receipt. So I went to Dobrik's and found... Another dog that wasn't Nibbles. I was getting discouraged, but wasn't ready to give up. Until I received a notification that Nibbles was found three years ago, and I wasted my entire day. Today, I'm gonna figure out how many lakes it takes to finish a lollipop. Ever since I was a kid, I wondered what this answer would be. So I got right to work. This started easy and actually quite enjoyable. But after a few hours, my tongue was in extreme pain. But I wasn't giving up. This took me weeks and some of the most extreme mental willpower and determination. I licked, licked, and licked, and even licked some more. To find out, it takes exactly 47,302. Oh, let's go. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! There we go, there we go. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Yes! 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 No! Oh! Yes! 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 No! No! Yes! 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 No! 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 Today I'm gonna 
figure out how many steps are on an escalator. How many steps could there be? 100,000? 20 million? I don't know, but I'm gonna figure it out. Bruh. My first thought was to stand still and try and count the steps one by one as they were moving. And that did not work. I then tried walking up and down and counting, but every time I thought I had the answer, more steps would appear over and over again. Bruh. This seemed endless, but then it hit me. If I put a piece of tape on the first step I count, I would know how many steps are on the escalator. This was totally working. The answer was near. No! I was about to give up. I was crushed until I thought of my best idea yet. To Google it. How many steps are in an escalator? 50. Mystery solved. Bruh. I flew on the worst rated airline in the world. Online, there are thousands of reviews of flyers absolutely hating it, saying the plane was filthy, the flight attendants had terrible attitudes, and there's even horrible turbulence. Once I got on the plane, I noticed it looked damaged, and it was super uncomfortable and hot. So I tried the AC, and it was broken. When I got to my seat, I saw a huge mess that wasn't Bruh. even mine. And the grossest thing ever, a piece of chewed up gum with hair in it. I went to the bathroom and realized they had no toilet paper there's actually no way can you keep it down the good news the flight is over the bad news they lost my back oh my god i got it i got it oh no 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 what what hold up hold up hold up oh my god no 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 Oh my god, go 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 I oh, saw that! Easy 100. No! Wait, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. 21. What are you doing? You have to pick those up! Bruh. Trick shot. Take two. Oh. No way! Oh. 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 69. Bruh. I'm with LeBron James and Bowman. Disneyland. And this is Universal, the two most famous and popular amusement parks in the world. And today my goal is simple, to start some beef. I heard that Universal is better than Disneyland. Do you guys think that's true? They can try as hard as they want. They're never going to be us. The beef has begun. I heard that Universal makes better drinks than Disneyland. Is that true? No, we make the best. Disneyland had some words to say about Universal, and their confidence was peaking. This is gonna be hard to compete with. Universal wasn't happy about that. I don't care, I think we are better. So Universal's better? Absolutely. Wow. They had their own opinions on Disneyland. Drink-wise, honestly, Universal actually has some great drinks. Yeah? I would also say they're, they're more decently priced than Disneyland. This has gone way past the small beef I was trying to start. Disneyland says that they're way better than Universal, is that true? Never. Do you guys think that's true? Bruh. What have I done? Which part do you think is better?